Hey, what's up? This is JS. Some people know me as a social worker, an advocate for parental substance abuse, a life coach. Some people know me as the heart lady whose videos pop up on their social media feeds. But at the end of the day, I am simply a woman on a mission. I want to help you transform your life using the exact tools I use to transform my own life. I won't say I have all the answers, but I will do everything I can to help you find yours. My goal isn't to reach millions. My goal is to reach you. Welcome to the JS Self Care Mind, Body, and Soul Podcast, a weekly conversation about self care, personal development, and all the small decisions we can make to become the best possible versions of ourselves. I want to welcome my new listeners and I also want to welcome my returning listeners. If you can please share this episode because there's someone in this world who needs to listen to this episode. I want to personally thank you for making the JS Self Care Mind, Body and Soul podcast part of your weekly routine. I truly, truly appreciate you. Self-care isn't selfish. Self-care is mandatory. Self-care is the key to living a happy and healthy life. Self-care isn't easy. It takes time and practice to cultivate a positive relationship with yourself. JS Self-Care affirmations are personal declarations that can be used to shift negative thinking to more positive and productive thoughts. I've assembled this collection of affirmations for self-care to help those looking to have a healthy relationships with themselves. Also, for those who are looking to begin a self-care journey, it all starts with self-care affirmations. The steps to self-care include our mind, body, and soul. So those are the three areas we will cover with these self-care affirmations. My hope is that I can provide you with a variety of self-care affirmations so that you can show yourself how much you love yourself. My hope is you can find a few that really, really resonate with you. My hope is that you open your self-care toolbox and add the affirmations that resonate with you. I want you to use these regularly. The more we practice, the more we become experts at caring and loving ourselves. You can recite these affirmations. You can write these notes, these affirmations on a notepad, especially use your affirmation when those pesky negative thoughts come about. Say, nope, I am, I'm better than that. I can do better. I am better. That's how you use your affirmations when you get those negative thoughts. Affirmations are positive statements that can help you to challenge and overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you repeat them often and believe in them, you can start to make a positive change. You might consider affirmations to be unrealistic or maybe even wishful thinking. But what I want you to do is try looking at positive affirmations this way. Many of us do repetitive exercises to improve our physical health and affirmations are like exercises for our mind and outlook. These positive mental repetitions can reprogram our thinking patterns so that over time we begin to think and act differently because we are reminding ourselves daily that we can do all things. All we have to do is speak those things into existence. The use of affirmations is just one way to make positive changes to your life. You can also use techniques such as thought, awareness, rational thinking and positive thinking, and even cognitive reconstruction. So let's jump into these positive affirmations. If you forgot, I need you all to go open your self-care toolbox and place the affirmations that resonate with you in your self-care toolbox. Just really quick, I hope you guys enjoyed affirmations part one. This we're going into affirmations part two. So Our 11th affirmation is, I choose to go through my trauma that I've experienced in the past so it won't affect my present and my future. The way I choose to go through my trauma is I acknowledge that I have been through some traumatic events in my life as a child and as an adult. 
I acknowledge that I cannot do it on my own. When I say it, I acknowledge that I cannot go through my self-care journey alone. I need a guidance. For me, that guidance looked like me getting a therapist. That also looked like me hiring a spiritual life coach. I also started teaching what I most needed to learn. My advice to you is if you are choosing to go through your trauma that you've experienced in the past, so it won't affect your present and your future, you need to seek help because it's extremely hard to do it let alone. I am not saying it's totally impossible, but this surely is hard as hell. That's why there are people and experts who can guide you through your journey to self-care. That guy could be me or someone in your community. That could be your pastor or someone you trust and love who is coming from a place of love and assistance. We need to normalize getting through things that has happened to us in our past or present so that our past can stop showing up in our behaviors. So just remember, you need to say this affirmation. I choose to go through my trauma that I've experienced in the past so it won't affect my present and my future. Wealth affirmation is my past does not determine my future. Where you are from and where you're at right now does not determine where you're heading in the future. What does determine your future is the work you put in now. For instance, if you want to be a teacher and you want to teach people how to live their best life, you can't be studying about cartoon characters. You have to focus on following people who teach or attend a school who teaches how to live their best life. You don't want to be watching Spider-Man knowing that you want to teach people how to live their best life, right? So now that you know what determines your future, let's get into your past, which does not determine your future. I don't care where you were born. I don't care what you've been through in your past. Your past does not determine your destination in life. You determine your future. And remember, the only way you do that is by what you are doing right now in this present moment. Number 12, say it again to yourself. My past does not determine my future. Affirmation number 13, I release myself from the weight of my regrets. You can't turn back the hands of time. All you can do is go through what you need to get through what it is you needed to help you grow and evolve. Release yourself from all those regrets, all those I should haves, I could have, and I would haves. You don't have the power to change your past. You don't have the superpower to rewrite the chapters in your life. Stop living with regrets. Stop singing the should have, would have song. And also stop creating moments in your life where you will sing, I would have, could have. What I mean by that is if there is something you want to do, do it. Don't talk yourself out of doing the things you want to do or the things you may want to accomplish. And surely don't allow anyone else to talk you out of the things you want to do. Release the weight of your regret. Live your best life. I release myself from the weight of my regrets. Affirmation number 14 is, I revoke permission to punish myself for my mistakes. Wow, this is going to be my favorite affirmation for 2022. I revoke permission to punish myself for my mistakes. I made mistakes. Boy, oh boy, have I made some mistakes. I made mistakes. I've learned from my mistakes, but I'm not going to punish myself for my mistakes. Have I been glutton for punishment at points in my life? Absolutely. I must be honest. I have said, Janelle, how can you make the same mistake over and over and not learn anything from them. I didn't learn from my mistakes because I literally thought I had the power to change those mistakes to victories. When I didn't turn those mistakes to victories, I would punish myself for my mistakes. I wouldn't even ask myself if I learned a lesson. You must revoke the permission to punish yourself for your mistakes. 
Look at those mistakes you have made in your life and ask what I learned from that. From some of us, for some of us, that lesson may be you better not do that dumb shit again. Or that lesson could be stop helping people who won't help you out of a situation. Just don't punish yourself for your mistakes. Once again, number 14 is I revoke permission to punish myself for my mistakes. Our next affirmation is I am growing wiser each day. Remember, affirmations are things you say to yourself. If you say affirmations to yourself often enough, you will believe it. I am growing wiser every single day. I am growing wiser each day. I no longer keep myself in a box and you should neither. What I mean is that I got rid of the notion that I am not changing for anyone, especially myself. I now feel and believe that growing daily is a must. I am not who I was yesterday and I'm not going to be who I am today, tomorrow. I learned something new every day about myself. I learned things about myself that I don't even like. So once you learn things about yourself that you don't like, guess what? You have no other choice to learn to a way to unlearn what you don't like about yourself. Gain the knowledge you need to navigate this thing called life. So I encourage you all to say and embrace this. I am growing wiser every single day. Our 16 affirmation is I accept my failures, but they don't define me. I have felt at a million things, but my failures don't define the person I am and the person I'm becoming. My failures are lessons and sometimes even blessings. I think back to when I used to beat myself up for loving or losing people I fell in love with. I would say, why we broke up? I must have failed at being a good woman. Little did I know, I didn't feel like being a good woman. I just wasn't a right fit for the people I fell in love with. My fears are lessons that I need to learn from. One lesson I learned through my life, love ships, was that I was not for everyone. As I dig deeper, those were some toxic relationships anyway. You can fail at many things. Think about it. Have you ever failed a test and have you asked yourself, why you failed the test. And for most of us, our response will be as simple as I didn't study at all, or I, I may have didn't study long enough, or maybe life could have hit you so hard that you couldn't even focus on the test. Failure is a part of life. It just is. So what we have to do is say to ourselves, I accept my failures, but they don't define me. 17 affirmation is I am resilient. I am resilient. I have been through some shit, but I came through it. I am resilient because I'm built forward tough. Life can be extremely rough. Life will make you say, fuck my life. Remind yourself when life gets rough that you are resilient and you will get through it. You have to go through it but you will get through it because of your resiliency. Our next affirmation is I try my best and that is all I can do. When I think of this affirmation, I do think trying is for failures. And what, what I mean by this is that if I'm going to do something or try something, I'm going to give it a hundred percent effort. I no longer put in 50%. So when you imp implement this particular affirmation, I want you to always try your best, meaning give it 100% in all that you do. If at first you don't succeed, I want you to dust yourself off and try again. What we need to do is stop saying yes to so many things and then we give it 50% of our effort. Whatever you say yes to or whatever you want to do, do it. Try it, but most definitely make sure that you give it 100%. If you're not willing to give anything in helping others 100%, I say don't try because trying is for failures if you're only going to implement 50% of it. Give it 100%. And remember this affirmation. I try my best and that's 
all I can do. Our next self-care affirmation is I honor my life's past. You should honor your life's path as well. Since this journey to self-care or for some, they call it the awakening, your life's path need to be honored. All that I have been through and needed to have gone through it. I really did. I, all the stuff I've been through, I really needed to have gone through it. I want you to feel the same way. What I mean is that I had to go through what I've been through so that I can help others. I may have a degree, as I call them, a piece of papers. I come with life experiences. And when I'm helping those I serve, I tell them I overstand where they're coming from because I have walked a similar path. The books don't teach us about life. Life teaches us about life. Honor your life's path. And remember, you can't erase your past. You only can learn from your past. So it won't affect your present and your future. Honor your life's past. I try my best and that is all I can do. Honor your life's path. Our last affirmation for this episode is my goal is progress, not perfection. Throw away perfection in the garbage. Just throw the whole thing about perfection, the perception about perfection. Throw it in the garbage. My goal is progress. Whatever I am doing or want to do depends on me. I have to progress. I can't be the same person. I have to grow and evolve. Life needs to be all about progress. Stop living a life of stagnation. Move forward and not backwards. Progress is dope. Your goal should only be to progress, not to perfect things. Perfection, it's too long of a process to perfect everything. That's why people never start nothing in life because they're looking for perfection. Your goal, my goal, is to progress, not perfection. Self-care isn't selfish. Self-care is mandatory. Self-care is the the key to living a happy and healthy life. Self-care isn't easy. It takes time and practice to cultivate a positive relationship with yourself. Jair self-care affirmations are personal declarations that can be used to shift negative thinking to more positive and productive thoughts. I've assembled this collection of affirmations for self-care to help those looking to have a healthy relationship with themselves. Also, for those who are looking to begin a self-care journey, it all starts with self-care affirmations. The steps to self-care include our mind, body, and soul. So those are the three areas we will cover throughout our self-care affirmation. And don't forget, if mental health treatment is needed, please don't hesitate to contact a therapist in your area. Self-care is important and necessary. Take care of you and continue to put you first no matter what. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and share. For daily doses of self-care affirmations and notes to self, make sure you join the JS Self-Care social media tribe on most social media platforms. Our social media links will be placed in this episode notes.